all right ladies and gentlemen recently i made a video on instagram questions which an astrologer should never answer so there were many queries which i got related to that question so i thought uh, it's best if i make a video answering all these questions here so if you have not yet followed my instagram page then please go and follow you will find the link in the description section and yes as usual god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him and before i begin i know the audio is not the best the microphone is a bit out of charge and there's some issue <laughs> so it will be better in the upcoming two to three days so now what are some of the questions which no astrologer should answer so the first question as i said or maybe it was the only uh, question which i said uh, which astrologer should not answer and that question is if a person says i love two people or three or four <laughs> so i love more than one person at a time or i am in a relationship with two three four five or maybe even more people simultaneously or I am in a relationship with this person but I also like that person I am married to this person uh, but I also love that person no. or uh, it could be any any similar question where there are multiple love partners or multiple uh, marriage partners involved in that all right so you 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 are married or you are unmarried you fall in love with another person that person is married or not married doesn't matter but this is the sector now the person asks you your client is asking you now what should i do should i stay with this person or should i go and uh, stay with that other person with whom i am uh, now feeling attraction towards or who I love or whatever you, you name it you know you, you can put the nomenclature but basically it is one person versus two or more okay and as Kaliuga is getting more and more gross 2023 is about to end 2024 is about to come so you will find these cases more and more and more and more because uh, people they are not able to be happy with one person these days they are addicted to sex life they are addicted to you know, dating flirting you know pornography and all this you know they've been watching it from last 15 20 30 40 years at least 20 years <laughs> and then what's happening is because of this uh, they have this conception that oh marriage or relationship uh, should only be um there till the time there is fulfillment in sex life or um uh, till the time you feel good you know those butterflies are there w once these butterflies are gone you should not stay with that person okay or uh, now you have butterflies with somebody else so now why should you not answer these questions uh, these kind of questions because the first thing is as an astrologer you will get serious karma if you do this why because suppose uh, you see a person's chart um, so if if there's a husband and there's the wife and he's telling you that okay i have my wife uh, this is my wife's chart and then this is another lady's chart and this another lady third lady okay so i love two more ladies simultaneously along with my wife who I supposedly don't love now so should I stay with my wife or go with the first lady or the second lady now if you tell that person that okay uh, yeah your relationship with your wife is not that great so I think among these two ladies you know uh, the first one is better or the second one is better so uh, then you can go with this lady or that lady so if you if you say this and then because you said if this person goes and gives divorce or starts divorce proceedings uh, with his wife then you will get severe karma because divorce as a word uh, is not existing in the Vedic culture okay so in the Vedic culture it 
uh, once married is always married okay so divorce and all this is modern terminology and even in the Indian constitution it was uh, put somehow by uh, no, not in the constitution I mean you know in the law uh, by uh, Jawaharlal Nehruji our first prime minister of independent India um, but somehow this is not there in the Vedic scriptures in Islam it is there it's known as talaq uh, but in Hinduism or Vedic culture, Sanatan Dharma, this is not there, okay? So if you are encouraging somebody for divorce, just on the grounds of being uh, attracted to somebody else, then you as an astrologer will incur very severe, terrible karma, alright? So please do not do that. It It is not a good thing to do for you, alright? The other reason why you should not suggest anything in this regard is that the reason is because tomorrow if something happens, you know, for example, you you tell the person that, okay, leave your wife, go with this first lady. Then what happens if somehow, see, you have to understand karma, okay. So Vedic culture teaches us law of karma, which is very beautiful, which is very scary at times. Now, what does law of karma says? Law of karma says the amount of happiness and distress you will get is destined. You cannot change it and it does not depend on the person who is giving you. Okay. Now, of course, the person who is giving you is acting like the agent of uh, your karma. But is it is not that... If that person would not be there, you would not get this karma. It would also, it would anyways come to you by some other means. Okay, so this means if you are dealing with a client who has a bad marriage and is now wanting to go for an extramarital affair, then in my experience, in 99.9% .9 of the cases I have seen that if a person is having a very bad marriage, not a decent bad marriage like a very bad marriage then the person's destiny is somehow uh, in such a way that even if the person uh, changes you know the spouse it won't have much effect because that is the person's destiny so the person is destined to have uh, bad relationships unless there is one exception unless there is a big change of Mahadasha so sometimes what happens is People meet somebody in one Mahadasha and that Mahadasha is showing very bad marriage. And then the next Mahadasha comes and that is showing good marriage. You know, suppose Venus Mahadasha, 20 years. So then that person will feel, oh, the problem was, it's not like that. I have bad karma. But uh, because that Dasha was bad, so during that specific period, I had bad relationships with uh, this lady or this man. Okay. So then what happens next when the Mahadasha changes, uh, the relationship, uh, the new relationship will be very good. Okay. But this is a very exceptional scenario where, because you have to understand why, why I'm saying this is exceptional because to have a very bad marriage, you need several planets in your chart, which are very badly placed for married life. So you need at least four to five planets, which are very badly placed in your chart. If your marriage is coming to a situation like you know divorce or extramarital affair you know it, it it just doesn't work like oh all planets are great and that one crooked planets dasha comes and then you are having a divorce no it can happen like that also but in general it doesn't happen so it means even if the next mahadasha comes so imagine there are five planets which are saying you may go for a divorce or something like that so <clears throat> Now imagine you are running the Mahadasha of one planet, which is one of those five planets, okay? So suppose you are running uh, Saturn Mahadasha and Saturn is one of those five planets, okay? Now what happens? Saturn Mahadasha is ending, for example, and then you are divorced. So then Mercury Mahadasha comes and let's imagine Mercury is not one of those five planets, which are bad for marriage. But Mercury is either neutral or good for marriage. And then what happens is you will get married. But then when uh, the, one of those four, five bad planets, Antar Dasha comes, even in Mercury, you will have serious problems. Because when something is indicated in one or more, uh, uh, sorry, in four or five or six planets in your chart, 
if one thing is simultaneously indicated in four five or six planets then that is like a part of your life you know it is not dasha dependent okay because you will see pratyantar will come uh, antar dasha will come you know alternate back to back you know you only have nine plants right <coughs> so then what happens in the mercury mahadasha in the beginning it will be nice but again gradually the person will again feel oh now i can't stay with this lady i need to have another extra marital affair so very rarely does it happen that a person has only one or two bad planets and that mahadasha causes divorce and then the next planets are like fantastic out of the world no it generally doesn't happen like that in case of divorce okay so uh, therefore uh, it is very 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 likely in 99 percent of the cases one person exception can be there that the person has many planets which are indicating bad married life and those dashas are coming again and again either in mahadasha or antar dasha so then after this person gets divorced and if you said okay now go with that first lady then this person because initially things were good and now it's again going downhill so then this person will again tell you that oh sir you told me go and uh, get divorced with my wife uh, and go with this lady and because of you i went through divorce so many things you know blah 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 court case lawyer fees and all this you know now because now this relationship is also not working if this was my destiny why did you not tell me before i would have not divorced my wife blah 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 so this person will put all the blame on you okay so the extra marital affair will be done by this person but the blame will come to you then this person will go online and give uh, bad reviews about you or you you are and and they, they are uh, the people are uh, in kaliuga people behave in such weird ways that sometimes they may go and write about you that you encourage them as an astrologer to divorce your wife and go and have an extra marital affair yeah that that that's how people are sometimes they, they do this okay because they need to blame somebody all right so therefore this is one area where you need to be very careful as an astrologer and um, you need to tell the person so if the person is asking you who should i uh, go ahead with these two girls so your duty as an astrologer is to tell okay if you go with the first lady this is how your life will be this is your compatibility and if you go with the second lady this is how your life will be this is how your compatibility will be and if you stay with your wife this is how your remaining life will be and this is how your compatibility will be so you have to give that person an idea of these three ladies and your upcoming compatibility you know for the next 30 40 years and then leave the decision to that person okay otherwise if you make the decision for that person uh, you will be in trouble all right so firstly you will get serious karma because you are breaking a marriage that is not permitted as per the scriptural standards unless things are very extreme there is like violence abuse or um, uh, like some your spouse has cheated on you or something like that. it's a very exceptional scenario it should not become the norm because divorce destroys families it destroys uh, it destroys the institution of marriage and especially children all right so therefore please understand that unless it is an extraordinary situation divorce is not recommended and as an astrologer it is your duty if especially if, uh, the question is about attraction and all this because attraction can happen right uh, today you are married after six months you may be attracted to another lady or after 20 years you may be attracted so will you just uh, keep having affairs one after the other you know so that that is like a dog life that is like the life of the cats and dogs right that is not civilized animal life so as an astrologer it is your duty to remind the person of good um, this uh, it's like giving sadbuddhi that is your duty okay and even if things are very extreme and this person is hell hellbent very adamant that i need to take divorce okay because i'm like super attracted to these two ladies even then you should not tell which lady or uh, which uh, person you should stay with okay because then it will fall on you all right and then the blame will come to you and you will suffer you will get defame, defamed or you will suffer that person may put a case against you someday you know it, it may happen all right people do all these crazy things all right 
so if you are a new budding astrologer this is one area where you need to be very careful because otherwise yeah you will uh, suffer and you will have no protection all right so that will be all from my side if you want a consultation from me then you can always go to my website down in the description section and if you're new then please like comment share and subscribe and also visit my instagram page all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him and before ending thank you for your patience i will improve the the microphone and the audio quality later okay thank you so much